Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in this video I want to talk about the Huawei Mate X, uh, Huawei's foldable smartphone versus the Samsung Galaxy Fold, which is Samsung's foldable smartphone. So they just recently announced the Huawei Mate X, and there are some fundamental differences between the two smartphones, and I do want you guys to let me know which one you think is better so far from what you have seen, but let me just give you a couple of my opinions on these two smartphones. So the biggest thing uh, that is obvious with the foldable smartphones is the way the screen is used and folded. Now with the Samsung Galaxy Fold, you have an outer screen that is 4.3 inches. And that is when the phone is folded. When you unfold the phone, the second screen is inside the phone. So when you unfold it, you have a 7.3 inch screen hiding on inside the fold. All right. Now Huawei Mate X is in fact better. Uh, which makes me happy because I do like to see different smartphones from different manufacturers uh, with different ideas. So with the Huawei Mate uh, X, uh, when you fold the phone, the, uh, the displays actually remain on the outside. So when you unfold the phone, again, the displays are going to be on the outside. And this allows you to have a phone that when even it is folded, has a front display and a rear display which when you unfold it becomes the full display. And the numbers on the screen sizes are quite impressive. So when you fold the phone, the Huawei Mate X, the main screen is 6.6 .6 inches and the rear screen on the device is 6.3 inches. And when you unfold the phone like this and you look at the full screen, that is an eight inch display, which is fantastic. All right, now Samsung went a different route in their design and Huawei went a different route in their design. I happen to enjoy them both, uh, but just from practically speaking, I think Samsung's design is slightly better because you do have that small screen on the outside that allows you to do all the basic tasks, uh, such as texting, phone calls, checking your messages, and when you do want to go crazy, you can just unfold the phone and the large screen is exposed to you. Uh, with the Mate X, you fold the phone, but the screens are fully exposed. The one problem I'm seeing with that is, uh, just the fact that hold, you're going to be holding this, both of the screens in your hands. They could easily get scratched. And I do not know how to apply a screen protector to that kind of design. Is it going to naturally bend with the screen or not? We don't know that yet. So the screen is more exposed even when you fold it because it remains on the outside. With the Samsung Fold, the main 7.3 inch screen is protected when you fold the uh, phone. That's one benefit I see on the Samsung Galaxy Fold. But the benefit on the Huawei is you are getting a different kind of technology where even the phone is folded, you've got a front display, a rear display, and when you unfold them, you get a larger 8-inch display as opposed to the 7.3 on the Samsung Fold. And even when the phone is closed, both the displays on the front and the back are quite large. For example, the front display, which is 6.6 .6 inches, is even larger than the Samsung Galaxy S10 or the iPhone XS Max and other flagship smartphones on the market. One more thing I want to quickly talk about while we're talking about practicality is the Huawei Mate X when it is folded or unfolded is in fact a thinner and lighter product than the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Uh, when the Samsung Galaxy Fold uh, folds, it's almost twice as thick as the Mate X and when it unfolds, it's still going to be a little bit thicker. So as far as practicality is concerned, if you are going to be using a phone like this on a day-to-day -day use and it's going to be fully portable and it's going to be your everyday smartphone, the Mate X does have a slight edge uh, as far as portability and thinness is concerned, but it's not a super big deal. Now, neither of these phones have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but the Fold has slightly better internals on it. So we do have a 12 gigs of RAM on the Fold, uh, 512 gigabytes of storage, and of course the Snapdragon 855 processor, and six total cameras. Uh, on the Mate X, we have three total cameras that can be used even when the phone is unfolded or folded, no problem. And it does have eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, 512 gigabyte, gig, gigabytes of storage, and the in-house Kirin processor, which is fantastic. Now, one problem is Samsung Fold is $2,000, but Huawei Mate is $2,600, which is going to be higher than the Fold. But those are just some of my preliminary observations on these two smartphones. Obviously, when they get released, I'll get my hands on the full products and do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I do want you to let me know which one you think is better. As a technological piece, 
the Huawei Mate X seems to be a little bit more enticing, but from a practical standpoint, I think the Samsung Galaxy Fold is going to be more usable as an everyday smartphone because the screens are hidden safely as opposed to the uh, Huawei Mate where the, the, the full screens are completely exposed even when you turn off the display, which like I said, could be a lot of screen scratches, a lot of fingerprint pin smudges and stuff like that. But again, I don't have a, a preference right now. I really want to see both phones uh, in first person. I do want to see both of phones in person before I make such a decision. But I do want you uh, to let me know which one is your favorite, the Mate X or the Samsung Fold, all right? And remember the price, $2,000 on the Fold and $2,600 on the Mate X. Drop your comments down below. Subscribe to Saki Tech for more coverage. For now, have a fantastic day.